let's kind of wrap up these elevations, the front view and the left side view. First, I would like to put this line on the same layer as these other lines. To do that, I can use the layer match command. So I'll click on that option. And it says, select objects to change. So I want to change that line. Press Enter. And I want it to be on this layer. So now I have all my lines here under good layer control. Next, I want to rotate the UCS back to where I can work on the front view. To do this, type in UCS. And I would like to switch it back to world coordinate system. Since world is the default here, all I have to do is press enter. And it rotates it back. Now, I would like to draw the ridge line for the roof in this view by referencing the position of this ridge line in this view. Again, I want to measure the distance from the ridge line to this fold line in this view and offset the fold line into this view to show where the ridge is. So I'll use the offset command. The offset distance is, okay, make sure ortho is on and object snaps from the endpoint, make sure I get the right endpoint to perpendicular here, so shift right click perpendicular to there. So now it knows the distance to this fold line and I will offset this fold line two views back, one, two, to this side. This is the position of the ridge for the roof that goes across the house this way. Press enter. Now I want to extend the roof 14 inches past this wall and the same on this side. So offset 14. Press enter. I can also draw the lines that represent the eave. And what I'm going to do is use a copy command. Just copy that there, there, and there. All right. I'll use the fillet command. Make sure the radius is set to zero. And I will square up these corners. I'll use the trim command, trim up this side, and I can use the trim command to trim up this side. Again, this line needs to be on the same layer as the rest of the lines. So I'll use layer match. I want this line to be on that layer. Press enter. There we go. So now I have the general outline of the elevations. What's left to do is the detail. So if I switch back here to my house, you can see that there are a lot of details that I can fill in. For example, I notice that the windows have trim around the edges, so I can show that. I also notice that these windows are sliders, so I need to indicate that there is something, some framing in between here. So right here, I need to draw that framing for the windows. Also, let me quickly switch over to view. I have details for the door that I can put in for the garage as well. There's the roof. Um, this is comp roof. And then there's siding. So there's a lot of things that I can uh, show in this particular view. So let's go back.
and see what I need to add to this elevation. So that way, when I'm done, I would have something that indicates the type of roof that I'm going to use. Outline the windows and indicate the finished floor and the top plate. I would like to dimension that. I also need to locate the position of the outside, the ground on the outside, relative to the finished floor. So I'll draw that in as well. And then it's nice to know what the overall height of the house is. So I would dimension that as well. Once I have all that laid out, I would be ready to uh, move on to the next videos.